hello beautiful people so today for my kitchen i cooked fried rice you know that kind of party fried rice that's what i cooked today i cooked about five kilos of rice it was a lot but i tell you if you follow this process it's going to make your life easier especially when you have to cook a lot of rice watch and be blessed so that's the chicken i'll be using i'm boiling it so yeah my yeah the raw items for my fried rice i'm cooking a lot i'm cooking about four to five kilos that's why i have a lot of vegetables you can see them i decide to use crayfish in place of liver most people use liver but i decide to use this and i've boiled the meat the, i'm using chicken i'm just going to put the chicken in the oven that's the water i'm going to be using to pour boil the fried rice these are my items basically stay tuned so yeah my nicely clean vegetables i want to start shredding it now so yeah my basic items you can see all my vegetables shredded you can see the onions that's the pepper i'm going to be using i have my bowl pepper my spring onions everything you can see it and i told you i said i'm going to be using crayfish instead of liver so let's get into the business of the day right away okay firstly parboil your rice for like five minutes no more than five minutes just parboil your rice to, so that you can to make it neat that's why we are parboiling for just five minutes on a high heat and that's the vegetable that is my long beans and the carrots i'm just going to boil that also for five minutes to make it soft because i'm going to be stir frying all the vegetables before frying the rice proper so that's it so my rice is washed nice and clean now i'm going to be parboiling it for the dry rice proper so i'll put my maggi a bit of curry the stock meat and the stock and hard water if need be then for these vegetables, it's okay. I just wanted it soft and it's okay that way. Keep watching. So that's it. It has been seasoned. I'm going to look it for, leave it to cook for another 15 minutes. We don't want our rice to be too soft because we are frying it. So now let your stir frying begin. This is your onions. Pour the onions. Let it fry. Let it fry for a while. So here are all my vegetables ready to be stir fried. One thing I want to sound here, make sure that when you are stir frying, your vegetables, the add vegetables go in first. So that's how it's going. I'm going to put in the carrot and the long beans first, followed by the, the ball pepper before the green onions. Then the peas are going in last. The crayfish is already cooked, so it will also go in last. That's what I just want you to know. And the rice is still cooking, so everything is getting ready side by side. You can see it. I'm still frying. I'm still stir frying. Don't forget, the the vegetables should go in in order of hardness. So I added my carrot first before the boiled pepper. I'm going to put in the peas last. I put it last. Don't forget to season your vegetables. Don't forget. So. Right about now, I'm going to pour in the peas and the crayfish. Pour it together and stay. So that's it. My rice is almost cooked. That's why you don't have to put a lot of water. My rice is not very cooked now. I want it to be cooked. Then that's the vegetable. Everything is going to go in there later. My rice is cooked cooked nicely cooked and dry as much as i want and make sure your vegetable is not too soft if you were cooking for just you and your immediate family for two or three or four you can fry but because it's a large quantity i'm not going to do the frying i'm just going to start simmering the i'm going to be taking the vegetable into the rice and staying you understand so we start just take a bit of this pour like that take it so then you stay you stay because it's a large quantity stay that's how you'll be doing until you get everything together so i'm still doing it you just continue like that 
you stir it and when you are stirring make sure you go down let the vegetable mix into the rice very well and when you are taking your vegetables from your palm oil make sure you are not scooping too much oil we want to less the oil as much that's why i'm using this spoon so that i can reduce the oil that goes into the rice and when you are doing this make sure your fire is on a very high heat but you have to be very also smart about it you keep stirring like that until the vegetable is well mixed with the rice keep watching so i finished mixing my vegetables with my rice you can see this is what i have left that's why i say you don't just pour everything directly look for this kind of spoon so that you can separate your vegetables from your oil so that's it i'm just going to reduce the heat now allow it to cook for like five minutes just simmer it for like five minutes and your fried rice party fried rice is ready test for your salt and be sure that everything is on point and that's it so now i'm just going to pack the rice into the cooler you can see the vegetables are still standing on their own and the rice is still standing on its own say So that's a portion for my yoga at the top. <laughs> so that's the rice in the cooler ready to be delivered. See, see at this. Look at this. Minimize bones. That's the leftover at home. So this is the bottom pot, and that is what I'm going to eat. Because the bottom pot is the sweetest part. You know, right? <laughs> so that's it go next time when you have a party for your children or you have to cook a large quantity follow that process and you'll be glad you did a big thank you once again to those that are subscribed to our channel thank you for supporting us if you have not please just click the subscribe button and support your own till i come your way next time it's your girl esther bye bye